took so long. By the time I swept Colleen's van out and checked for booby traps and then poured a stiff sherry down her throat, I was lucky to get out when I did. Mm. You sure you're all right? I was just probably a bit shocked about what happened tonight, you know, everybody finding out like that. I thought you'd be pleased that at least it's no longer a secret. No, oh, I, I am. I just... I guess now that everybody knows it just suddenly seems very real you know I, I thought I thought Zoe was gone you know I thought that it was all over but it's oh it's just all happening again and this time I don't have Flynn so you've got me you've got Rick Cassie Martha there's no way we're going to let anything happen to you or this family ever again She's got a set of keys to this place. How the hell does she keep getting in here? It's a police station, Peter, not maximum security. I don't care if it's Alcatraz. Find out which Joker locked up tonight and get him in here, right? It's two o'clock in the morning. I want to know how Zoe McAllister got into my office. Oh, I think I can answer that one. Looks like she used a crowbar to break through the back window. Oh, I'll get it. All right, let's get a paint sample off the wall and send it off to the lab. An analysis of the paint might be able to tell us where she bought it from. Look, I know it's a long shot. Just indulge me, please. That was Colleen Smart. She heard a noise outside her mobile home. She wants someone to go around and investigate. It's already started. You see, this is exactly why I didn't want people finding out about Zoe in the first place. Because instead of using our time and resources efficiently, we now have to chase every shadow and bump in the night. Which is exactly what Zoe wants. All right, look, just go and check on Colleen and then come straight back. We've got a lot of work to do. Why don't we leave it till the morning? Because in the morning, I have to tell this whole town how we're handling this situation. Right now, we're not handling anything at all. Zoe is one step ahead of us. You saw the videotape. She's targeting everyone that was involved the first time. What if she comes after Sally again? Well, you heard what Grandad said. He's not going to let anything happen to anyone, so we'll be fine. Yeah, but Zoe's already broken him once. She can easily get in again. Yeah, stop. Yeah, you're just making it worse. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just... I couldn't handle it if anything happened, Rick. You guys are my family. You're all I've got. No, no, no. Look, we'll be fine, OK? Now that we know Zoe's about, we just... We have to be extra careful. Been homed. I want to go home when it's so cosy here. Well, lucky for you, I have had some rest, and as I was waking up from my three hours sleep, I suddenly realized it's staring us in the face. What is? That engagement party was a surprise, right? By invite only? So? So, how did Zoe know to send the tape to the house exactly when everyone would be there? What are you saying? I'm saying that the only way Zoe could have found out about that party was from someone who got an invite. What, you think that someone we know is helping her? How else could she have found out about the party? 